Erin here with Karma Cat Gardens and uh, Zen Rabbit. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, personal responsibility and problem solving. If we have time for the next for the problem solving part, we'll see how things play out. Um, so I guess the way that I want to start out with this is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of tell a little bit about myself and how I how I view personal responsibility. Um, as I, when I was younger, sorry, anything off off the side you hear is my kitten flopping around and playing. Sorry, I know I've said this before, <laughs> and she she was sleeping. I thought I'll I'll film now because. She's sleeping, and literally the second I start filming, she is interested in what I'm doing. So, please forgive me. Um, anyway, uh, when I was younger, say my teen years, um, I was a bit of a uh, eh, screw off, I guess. I, I like, you know, skipped classes and engaged in recreational substances, and you know, I was just kind of a, a kid, I guess. And, um, that was all well and good. I did, you know, I did what I did. And, um, from time to time I'd be hauled into the principal's office and given a talking to and get, you know, either, you know, suspensions or whatever, or in school suspensions or, um, whatever it was. And I was super, super shy. And so I wouldn't talk, but I would just like grin and I had really long, well, I guess I still have really long hair, but I had my bangs over my face. And I would just kind of grin from under there and I just accept whatever it was that uh, I would you know yeah that's the, that's what I did I never denied doing anything because I did those things and so if it was something I did yes yes I did that and I'd accept whatever punishment came down the road that's fine I, I guess if it was something they said I did and I didn't do it I would probably have a problem but um, and I'm sure that did happen I just can't recall right now what it was but um so basically I, I believed that if you did something that you should, you know, say yes, yes I did that and take responsibility for it. Um, and that is one piece of personal responsibility. Um, I don't, I don't think I ever like apologized for it. I don't feel like you have to be sorry you did it because I did it. I wasn't sorry for it. I, I wasn't sorry I did it. I was okay doing it. I wouldn't have done it if I was sorry. Um, so I never apologized. I just did it. Um, so anyway, moving forward, I had, um, I, uh, was still kind of in that sort of lifestyle and had, um, free floating and, um, let's see, how am I supposed to explain? Like what, I'm trying to figure out what timeline, where to, where to go with this. I, uh, had a child and, um, I was, I, I want to say 21. And um, my first order of business at that point was to move home because at that time I was kind of like, I was sort of squatting. I literally just moved around and um, was kind of, uh, lived the party lifestyle. I was, I, I had, I was aimless, but um, responsibility kind of, kind of tightened its grip on me because I mean, you become a parent, you literally have to stop everything and reassess your life, which I did and um, stopped everything ran home to mom. <laughs> ah! So I did, uh, went home and, um, I think I started taking some college classes. I, you know, just sort of changed up what I was doing and, um, became a parent. Uh, if anything, I, I taught my son literally the same exact tactics. If you do something that, um, you know, I didn't tell him, you know, don't do I, I guess I did kind of teach them not to do bad things, but if you do do bad things, accept responsibility. Just keep your head up high. Say, yep, did those. I'll take the take the responsibility for it. Off you go. He does that same same thing. Of course, he and I are very similar in some ways, and he also did the same thing when he was in high school, and he, you know, faced the same consequences I did, and you know, all is well. You know, what do you? I guess the point is we didn't blame anybody for for our screw ups. It wasn't somebody else's fault that we did stupid things. We did the stupid things. I don't blame anybody that I, sorry cat, um, pissing off a dog. Uh, anyway, 
nobody else did these things. We did these things. Um, now here's a, a little wrinkle in this. Um, so I also have, I, I, I know I've kind of danced around it. I have, a I have a physical ailment or actually several, but, um, and I don't use that as a, wow, she's really snapping at her. Knock it off, you two. <laughs> I don't use that as like an excuse. As a matter of fact, I don't, I don't bring it up all the time because it doesn't, um, there's not really a need to. And again, it's like, I don't like to use excuses for why I don't do something, why I can't. As a matter of fact, I try not to do that because it's annoying. It's annoying and it's unnecessary. Um, so I try to not do that. But the other, the other piece of that is, um, and this is all in response to what I see. Uh, I live in Portland, Oregon, by the way. So I'm kind of in the heart of SJW territory. So I'm inundated with all this garbage. And so I'm kind of, this is what I'm reacting to. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about and why I'm talking in the way I am, I am in response to that. Um, so I have, uh, in that kind of weird, uh, time when I was free floating, uh, and doing a lot of partying and stuff like that, I was indeed assaulted, uh, sexually assaulted. Actually more than once. <laughs> um, and it was when I was partying and, um, I never reported it. And it happened again, like I said, more than once. And what happens is I started to recognize a pattern. And I took steps in that pattern because it just so happened at every time it happened, I was drunk, really drunk. And, um, and I was split off from the people that it was like, you know, the, the lame antelope. I was cold from the herd as it were. And so I was like, oh, okay. Cause I was like fuzzy in the head. I, I, my senses were dulled. I wasn't able to see what was going on. And so I was like, okay. So I started to take some steps. I didn't ever, after that, the last time I didn't drink in a group where I didn't know where I was, um, where it was mixed company. And, um, I kept my wits about me. And let me tell you something. It never happened again, ever. So this is what I'm talking about, personal responsibility. I could blame others and say, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I know I'm going to take a shitload of flack, but nobody watches my videos anyways. But if you do, you can give me a shitload of flack if you want. But let me just tell you this. It never happened again. I made a change in my behavior because of the, my behavior is the only behavior I can change. This is my personal responsibility. You can change you and only you. So take responsibility for yourself. I used to teach preschool. I worked in kindergarten classrooms. I worked in all sorts of things and everyone wanted to know what other people were doing. And I would tell them, don't worry about what they're doing. You worry about you. <laughs> Cause it's like, it isn't, oh, they want to know is that person getting in trouble. Is that person? I don't worry about them. You worry about you stay in your lane. So, um, I think that's important. I think it's important for people to, um, you know, take stock. The other responsibility, I think, um, when things like in interpersonal relationships, I always kind of ask myself if I see a pattern of any kind, I always ask, what is it I might be doing that, uh, is, you know, I always, I always take personal stock first. What is, what is it I'm doing that I could change? Or, um, is there something that I'm doing that's, that's instigating, um, these are questions that are kind of important, you know, in any relationship that you have, it's always good to kind of keep tabs on yourself because, you know, but rather than blaming it outwardly, because you again can only deal with you. So, um, I'm already running really light, so I'm probably going to not do the problem solving just yet because we're kind of almost hit the 10 minute mark. So, um, Anyway, I, I'm sorry that it was like kind of off the beaten path as far as that and pretty personal. Um, I just kind of wanted to touch on those things. And um, if you are interested, uh, I can go further. If you have questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, please do subscribe. 
uh, please visit my Patreon. I would very much appreciate it at this point. I will just go ahead and say um, I'm not too long divorced and I will no longer be receiving, um, what's the word for it? You know, um, uh, 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 alimony payments that I will stop in October. Uh, and that will pretty much, I, I physically can't work. That is, that is it. I, I wish I could. I literally really wish I could. Um, but I cannot. So I'm trying this. I've tried a lot of different things. I've kind of put my feelers out and this is, I guess I am kind of doing problem solving. A part of problem solving is trying lots of different things and, and looking at different resources. And this is how I'm doing it. Um, because I'd like to keep my house. <laughs> about 25 animals need me to keep my house. Otherwise we will all be homeless. So, um, so we're very hopeful. Um, subscribe, comment. Uh, even if you don't like what I said, you can comment. I will not mute you. You can say what you want. Um, I might eat those words, but anyway, go ahead. Uh, and, uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Thank you so much for bearing with me on this one. It was, it was a tough one. So, okay. Thanks so much. Have a lovely evening. Bye.